हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अ न्यू वीडियो फॉर इजी 900 प्रिपरेशन क्वेश्चन नंबर 11 व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सर्विसेज इज अ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड नेटवर्क ऑफ सर्वर्स दैट कैन इफिशिएंटली डिलीवर वेब कंटेंट टू यूजर एंड द ऑप्शंस आर ए अजियोर कॉस्मोस डीबी बी अजियोर ऐप सर्विसेज सी अजियोर ट्रैफिक मैनेजर एंड डी अजियोर कंटेंट delivery network that is cdn so the correct options is d so a content delivery network is a distributed network of servers that can efficiently deliver web content to users it is a way to get content to users in their local region to minimize latency now look why other options are not correct as azure app services so azure app service enables you to quickly build and host application and should be front end by cdn for distributed delivery for end users for faster performance and low latency next option that is azure cosmos db azure cosmos db is a globally distributed database services that enables you to elastically and independently scale throughput and storage across any number of azure's geographic regions and the last option that is azure traffic manager so azure traffic manager is a dns based traffic load balancer that enables you to distribute traffic optimally to services across global azure regions while providing high availability and responsiveness question number 12 a company is planning to host a set of resources in azure they want to protect their resources against ddos attack and also get real time attack metrics which of the following should the company opt for the options are a ddos protection basic b ddos protection isolated c ddos protection standard and d ddos protection premium so the correct option is c so azure distributed denial of service attacks attempt to overwhelm and exhaust an application's resources making the application slow or unresponsive to legitimate user azure ddos protection combined with application design best practices provide defense against ddos attack the standard service tier provides additional mitigation capabilities that are tuned specifically to microsoft azure virtual network resources ddos standard plan provides services like real time metrics and alerts always on availability and many more now other options that are not correct we can look the explanation why that is ddos protection basics so the basic service tier is automatically enabled as part of the azure platform always on traffic monitoring and real time mitigation of common network level attacks provide the same defenses that microsoft's online services use the basic plan does not provide metrics like real time monitoring alert now the other two option that is ddos protection isolated and ddos protection premium so both are not valid service plan question number 13 which term in azure is most closely related to serverless computing select the correct option the options are a virtual machine b hypervisor c operating system and d managed service so the correct option is d that is managed service so serverless computing so this model eliminates the need for servers to be provisioned or managed developers can focus on writing code without worrying about infrastructure now managed service so azure provides various managed services such as azure function azure logic apps azure event grid which are key components of serverless computing these services handle the underlying infrastructure allowing developers to concentrate on the application logic now other options that are not correct as virtual machine 
so a vm is a traditional computing resource that require provisioning and management hypervisor a hypervisor is a software layer that enables multiple virtual machines to run on a single physical server and last one operating system so an operating system provides the interface between hardware and software but it's not a specific to serverless computing now question number 14 you have an azure environment that contains multiple azure virtual machines you plan to implement a solution that enables the client computers on your on premises network to communicate to the azure virtual machines you need to recommend which azure resources must be created for the planned solution which two azure resources should you include in the recommendation and the options are a load balancer b virtual network c application gateway d gateway subnet and e virtual network private gateway so the correct options are d and e so the option virtual network private gateway azure virtual private network gateway is used to send encrypted traffic between an azure virtual network and on on premises location over the public internet it provides a more secure connection from on premises to azure over the internet the next option gateway subnet so the virtual network gateway uses a specific subnet called the gateway subnet which is used for routing the traffic from one network to another network now look why other options are not correct as virtual network so azure virtual network that is vnet is the fundamental building block for your private network in azure vnet enables many types of azure resources such as azure virtual machines to securely communicate with each other the internet and on premises network to connect vnet with an on premises network you will need to create a vpn gateway next option application gateway so azure application gateway is a web traffic load balancer that enables you to manage traffic to your web application and also perform url based routing it is the connection through which users connect to your application now the last option that is load balancer so azure load balancer provides high availability by distributing incoming traffic among healthy virtual machines it cannot be used to connect an on prem network with azure question number 15 you have an azure environment how will you create a new azure virtual machines from an android laptop select two correct option the options are a azure cli b azure powershell for windows c use the power apps portal d use powershell in azure cloud shell and e use the azure portal so the correct option is d and e so azure cloud shell is a browser based scripting environment in your portal linux users can opt for a bash experience while windows users can opt for powershell the next azure portal azure portal is a public website that you can access with any web browser to create manage and monitor any available azure services it also guides you through complex administrative tasks using wizards and tool tips now the other options that are not correct as azure cli so azure command line interface is a cross platform command line program that connects to azure and execute administrative commands on azure resources cross platform means that it can be run on windows linux or mac os only you cannot access cli from android next option power apps so azure power apps portal provides a low code approach to rapidly build app for any device while seamlessly working with your azure based services through a rich professional developer extensibility model and the last option azure powershell for windows so azure powershell for windows can be used in the windows operating system only and if you want to practice similar types of quiz and access the pdf you can refer our official websites 
that is techcloudsolutions.in i will give you the link of my websites in the comment section you can refer the link and check it out question number 16 a company is planning to host an application on a set of virtual machines in azure they want to ensure that the application survives a reason-wide failure in azure which of the following concept needs to be considered to fulfill this requirement the options are a disaster recovery b elasticity c agility and d scalability so the correct option is disaster recovery so disaster recovery is the ability to recover from an event that has taken down a reason-wide cloud service cloud services disaster recovery can happen very quickly with automation and services being readily available to use now other options that are not correct as elasticity so elasticity is the ability to automatically or dynamically increase or decrease resources as needed elastic resources match the current needs and resources are added or removed automatically to meet future needs when it's needed next option agility so agility is the ability to react quickly cloud services can allocate and deallocate resources quickly they are provided on demand via self services so vast amounts of computing resources can be provisioned in minutes and the last option that is scalability so scalability is the ability to increase or decrease resources for any given workload you can add additional resources to services a workload known as scaling out or add additional capabilities to manage and increase in demand to the existing resources that is scaling up scalability doesn't have to be done automatically question number 17 select three correct statements and the statements are a azure machine learning processes data from millions of sensor b azure sql data warehouse is a cloud-based service that leverages massive parallel processing to quickly run complex queries across petabytes of data in a relational database c azure ai bot provides a digital online assistant that offers speech support d azure sql data warehouse is a managed relational cloud database service e azure sql data warehouse is a managed relational cloud database service f azure data lake analytics can run massively parallel data transformation and processing programs across petabytes of data so the correct answer is b c and f question number 18 your development team is interested in writing graph based application that take advantage of the gremlin api which option would be ideal for that scenario the options are a azure cosmos db b azure databricks c azure sql database and d azure database for postgres sql so the correct answer is a so azure cosmos db supports sql mongodb cassandra tables and gremlin apis and all other options are not the correct option question number 19 which of these options helps to easily disable an account when an employee leaves your company select the correct option the options are a use single sign-on b enforce multi-factor authentication c role based access control and d monitor sign-on attempts so the correct answer is a so single sign-on is an authentication scheme that allows a users to log in with a single id and password to any of several related yet independent software system once the user leaves your organization 
his account will be deactivated by the organization so the user won't be able to access azure resources sso centralize users identity so you can disable an inactive account in a single step now look why other options are not correct as enforce multi factor authentication so azure mfa provides additional security for your identities by requiring two or more elements for full authentication the next option role based access control so our back provides fine grained access management for azure resources enabling you to grant users only the rights they need to perform their jobs rbac is using for access management and not for user management and the last option that is monitor sign on attempts so this is a manual step which is not needed by using sso question number 20 azure germany is available to eligible customer at partners globally who intend to do business in the eu or efta including the united kingdom how many azure germany regions are there select the correct option the options are a 4 b 3 c 2 and d 1 so the correct option is 2 so microsoft azure germany is a physically isolated region of microsoft azure with two reason it used world class security and compliance services that are critical to german data privacy regulation for all system and application built on its architecture and all other options are not correct so here we comes to the end of this video and if you want to practice similar types of question you can refer our official websites so i will see you in the next video thank you